Hello, welcome to Read. Hello, hello. I'm Eva. And I'm Kai Ling. And you're joining us with a sexy episode of Read. It's all about Brazilian and Brazilian parties. Sounds good, and anything Brazilian is always sexy, right? Yep. And <laughs> I hit it over to um, Clock Key to check out, you know, the Brazilian party happening at Aqua Bar mm -hmm. for the first time, and it was quite deafening. There was music, a swimwear, swimwear fashion show, and of course, plenty of mojitos and caparinas at the party. Not bad, not bad. Yeah. Our Brazilian swimsuits very, very skimpy and small. Like Yes, yes, they are. Like, like string type. And they even some of the women they actually wear those bikini um those G string kind of bikinis, you know, to the that's beach. That's not a bikini, that's like you know G string. Yeah, those G string type of bottoms, yeah. No, they're very brave, um, Brazilian women who would actually wear no, that. No, all the models were Brazilian? Um, no, the ones that were featured in the fashion show at um the party were not Brazilian. Some were local, some were overseas. Yes, so okay, no, but the designer actually um, made these bikinis for us with Asian girls. So it's in a way you could say it's more Singaporean girl friendly. Something that you know you and me might actually wear. That's <laughs> good. So maybe we should check it out first and then we'll see if Eva yeah. would want to wear those. Let's roll the clip. When it comes to parties, no one does it better than the Brazilians. Tonight is Echo Bar's first Brazilian night. We'll be watching a Batucada performance and a Brazilian swimsuit fashion show by Beja Flor, showcasing their latest spring summer collection for 2009. So, caparinas and mojitos, let's get the party started. models strutting on the catwalk. But what actually goes on behind the scenes? Let's go have a look at these bikini models. So, um, what's your name? I'm Sally from Australia. Alright, yeah. and what are you doing here in Singapore? Um, I'm actually a teacher at the Australian school. Okay, yeah. and you're a model part-time. Yeah. <laughs> Only your students know this. <laughs> no, they're three and four years old, so I don't think that they do. Describe your personal style. What do you like? Um, Mark Jacobs is my favorite designer um, because he's he has simple um, sort of designs and they're very um, eclectic and they go with everything. So um, I'm quite casual most of the time because I'm a teacher and I get paint all over myself all the time. So, But when I go out at night, when I go clubbing, I like to wear black. Okay, why so, black? I don't know. I sort of just blend in with the crowd. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's not very Brazilian. Brazilian's all about, you know, colourful, loud. Nice. But I like to, I have loud shoes, so it goes with the black. <laughs> How do you prepare for, like, the catwalk, you know, in a bikini? Is it different from uh, a normal fashion show? You feel a bit naked, but <laughs> I suppose you just have to walk up and down and sort of get the feel for it. When you're out there on the catwalk and all eyes are on you, what's the feeling like? It's actually nice. I mean, it's, if there are a lot of people, it's nice. If it's you're just smiling to like one or two people, it's a bit awkward. So you, you embrace the attention, in other words, yeah. you're not shy about it. Yeah, well, I usually am shy, but it's okay. I mean, when you're out there and you're all in outfit and makeup and hair, it's nice. So. It is more nerve-wracking to do a bikini one than a normal fashion one, right? Yes, because you're bearing more flesh. <laughs> and we all have the, the whole, you know, self-conscious image thing going around. <laughs> and we don't know which part is going to be seen and, yeah. What do you think about Beja Flores collection? Are the I pieces actually like their monokinis. A lot of the designs, they have really, really nice designs for the... I mean, I'm not talking about the two-piece ones, but the single ones that are joined down the middle and then comes back out. You'll see it later. It makes your body slimmer with that line going down there and then spreading out so your hips are wider and your top's bigger. But your waist is skinny, so it's Really? Nice. Is that yeah. the effect it gets? Yeah, that's the hourglass effect. That's why it's like this. So it's Okay, well, you learn something new every day. Good luck for tonight's show. It's your Thank first you. ever swimsuit one, right? Yes, we will rock out outside. This little area is so small. How do you like change and get your makeup done and your hair done all in this little place. Do you guys get in each other's way in this small little area? <laughs> yeah, but we're all girls so it's fine. So we're comfortable with looking at each other. Yeah, it's absolutely exactly. fine. No like space politics, right? I take uh, this no, space. No, you know, no. it'll be, there. yeah, it'll be like, can you help me buckle up please? You know, can I strap on my shoes? Because we have to change. So it's um, quite fast paced actually. So we have to help each other to put on a good show. 
So no bitchiness in this room, yeah? We no. Love each other. Yeah, we love each other. <laughs> I actually, love you. We are working together pretty fine. And uh, after one long day, we're actually very close with each other. What do you love about modeling part-time? I mean, does it... I don't know. Is it therapeutic? <laughs> <laughs> it's actually like a passion, you know. Like um, sometimes we walk, we watch like runway models. We realize that they're very cool, yeah. and then sometimes we want to do it too. It's the adrenaline rush when you step out, okay. when on during the catwalk. Yeah. So that's the greatest feeling I, I, I can get from modeling. Like, do your friends know that you're into modeling, or are they gonna be like, whoa? But you know, you're like this girl next door in the daytime, and you're this model at night. We don't believe you. You know, what's their reactions like when they tell you? I think because I'm um, naturally tall, so they have always um, predicted that I'll somehow get into modeling. It was never my thought and my um, opinion that you know I could actually get into modeling. So they are quite okay with it, and they are very supportive. So I'm very grateful. Thank you. <laughs> small medium scale event like this um, maybe about two weeks yeah about two weeks but if it's a really major show probably like one month yeah but if it's a really major 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 show probably like three four months okay. yeah and how many events have you done this year fashion events have you done this fashion year? events maybe you're like about 10 so what goes into preparing for a fashion show like this oh great actually um, we have to start off with a casting of models first after that we get into makeup direction and then hair direction and then choosing of the clothes, like what kind, or like the first sequence is what color. It depends on the material as well sometimes. But this one we're going with color. So the first color you're actually going to see is um, red. After that it will be blue and green. Okay. After that then it will be um, pink and white. Very pretty and very chic. Oh. And then black. Well, I never know that you actually coordinate the and, and categorize the colors, you yeah, know? Yeah. What is the worst thing that could happen to like a fashion event organizer on the day of the event itself? What is the one thing that you fear will happen, you know? Mm, my models fall down. <laughs> I will kill the shit out of them. I will kill the shit out of them. <laughs> what happens if a model takes MC? No such thing. Uh, but no, seriously. But <laughs> normally I will... Because for me, I would prefer my models to eat well. And they will have to coach properly. And I prefer them to really um, be on time and rehearsal starts early because I'm more like a, a sequence planner. Everything planned very well and very um, sequenced, yeah.
would think about those bikinis. No, no, wait, wait, wait. But first, if, like what we promised the viewers, <laughs> will you wear any of those bikinis? Would I wear any? Yeah. Actually, I think that they are okay. They're not a typical Brazilian. You know, Brazilian bikinis... Really skimpy, right? But the first one is kind of skimpy because it only has a string on the yeah. side. Yeah. And those are the ones I stay away from. Yeah, you know what? I, I think you could cheat a bit, you know, if you wear board shorts. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just have the nice top. But I think the top is very sequenced and nice. Yeah, most o- Asian girls do that, right? I mean, I mean, as far as I can see from, like, my yeah. odd trip to Sentosa. You know what's surprising that you mentioned that, right, Sentosa? Mm. When I went there the other day, I realised that the girls nowadays are a lot more daring. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and wearing a bikini to Sentosa now is really, like, something of a fashion statement, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, I know people yeah. who go, like, every week just to hang out and tan and I don't know play beach volleyball the beach girls and the beach guys yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and I don't know maybe it's a pickup joint now it is actually it is like a few well a few years ago it really people went there just to you know have uh, catch up with friends and uh, play ball and stuff like that Mm. but now it's become all a like a fashion thing, you know, and yeah, I think yeah. because of Cafe Del Mar there as well, oh, then yeah, they want true. to, you know, post there their nice bikinis. Definitely. Yeah, so that's Beja Flores' um, latest collection for spring, but summer. But that, that show, I think it's quite intimidating because the audiences are very close and they walk quite a bit, like they walk around the whole yeah. area. But I guess that's what models have to do. <laughs> I guess it'd be quite scary if like some of the audience members just, you know, went out and grabbed like, and touched ah! anybody. <laughs> Like, you're so pretty and <laughs> actually yeah. touch the models, you know. Yeah, I think that would be one hazard of the job itself, being you a fashion the, model. Yeah, you were, in the back, you were in backstage, right? So yes. what, was it like a bit chaotic? It looks kind of small and then yeah. I'm sure everyone's... They, yeah. they, have to, they strip in front of everyone. Yeah, that's what I asked the girls as well. I was yeah. like, because I was so shocked when I went behind the scenes. Anything? No, no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Cameraman was there as well with us, so sorry, we couldn't <laughs> stay for that. Um, no, I was really surprised because we went, we went in there. I kind of expected the behind-the-scenes part to be much bigger mm. and very glammed up. But yeah. actually, behind-the-scenes is, is, is never what it looks like on the outside. Yeah. Outside, it's all glamorous and very organized, yeah. but uh, behind-the-scenes, it was so small. And, yeah. and I think the girls actually did quite a great job. I, I asked them, how do you, like, change, you know, mm. in this small area? You can hardly, I could hardly move inside yeah. there. They're like, oh, yeah, no, we all have to help each other and, like, yeah, you know, yeah. check each other they to make sure that all the little bits of bikinis are still on us. Check each other or check each other out. Check each other for <laughs> definitely sure. Like, can you imagine if, if you didn't have the bikini on properly and you went out? Oh, yeah, that's, that's true. That would be... Um, no, but the bikini one is kind of different because, you know, we all heard about how they have to change backstage, but, you know, whenever they strip off, like, they are, like, yeah. couture or stuff, they still have their underwear, but this one, if they take it off, there's nothing. Yeah, no, that's really nothing. Yeah, yeah. so they have, to be very, they have to be brave enough. And, like, what the girl mentioned earlier, she's like, no, we, we're fine, you know, we actually help, have to help each other out. Yeah. You just can't imagine having... Yeah, you just... Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, you know what's really funny is that um, the fashion director, Marie, you know, she's she's organized quite a lot of fashion mm. events in Singapore, including the recent Stylo event, which is a, quite a big fashion event. And I asked her what was the worst thing, right, that could happen. Yeah. And she's like, okay, no nonsense. You know, all models must show up. Mm. Yeah. So if you're a model, no such thing as MC. Yeah, and can sort of imagine her with a whip going like... <laughs> <laughs> Make the show go, you know. <laughs> you're walking too slow. I don't know. <laughs> okay, coming. Okay, we're going to be back and in our next clip, um, yeah, we, we talked to the people from Echo Bar and the whole Echo Bar concept is really interesting, I would mm. say. It's a pick, pack up and go kind of bar, a makeshift kind of bar. Never, okay. never heard of such a thing before. And I also talked to the managing director of Beja Floor and get her views about Brazilian style and fashion and whether she thinks that, you know, it will look good on our girls in Singapore. So yeah, be right back.